Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cover with Clinton. So in this video, we're going to continue the photo gallery web application. So currently we're on part 5 in the stand. So in this video, I'm going to be talking on Django models. I'll show you how to work on Django models in the stand. So this I tweaked the template. It's looking different on the previous one we were using before. I had to do some tweaking on the template. I think this is looking better than the previous one in the stand. So now I'm going to explain. So what, are, so what is Django model so without further ado we'll be getting into that right now before we proceed into the video i would love you to smash the like button subscribe subscribe to this channel and please drop me a comment saying what you, what you think about the series i would love to hear what you think about this tutorial series you understand so i'm going to explain what django before i do that i'm going to show you what the django documentation says it says a model with a single definitive source of information about your data it contains the essential fields and behaviors of the data you are storing. Generally, each model maps to a single database table. You understand? So, a Django model is simply a Django model comprises of classes that makes up a database table. You understand? So, I'm going to show you how to create one right now. So, currently, this is our project structure. This is the Django project called Photo, and this is the app called Photo Apps. I'm going to open the Photo app, and you see, you see a file called models.py. If I do that, I need to bring this down a bit. So, models.py. So, now currently, we are in our models.py file. This is where we're going to create our Django the database table. You understand? So, now I'm going to create two in this video. So, as we, as we, as we keep on progressing, we're going to create more database tables. You understand? So, now these tables in this model of file are going to be looking like classes in the stand. So I'm going to show you how it is now. So I'm going to create a Django model called picture. Now, sorry, I'm going to create a model class called picture. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to simply say class picture, and it's going to inherit from the Django from model in Django. So it's going to be models dot model. So now we are inheriting from the model class in Django. So now I'm gonna, so this is the table called picture. So now, and a Django and a database table comprises of fields and rows. Understand? So columns and rows, whichever way you call it, or attributes and the rows. Understand? So this is our table called picture. So I'm gonna create some attributes again. So the first one is gonna be name. Understand? So name. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a text field with some string as its value. So I'm gonna say models dot character field. So and this particular field has a compulsory argument it's old, which is called max length. So this max length simply represents the number of characters this field can hold. So if I set 100, it must not exceed 100, you get. So the characters of this region must not exceed 100. So I'm going to create another attribute called body. Understanding this body is going to describe what our image is, how what is the inspiration behind this picture? It's not going to be models dot text field. So now this does not have any composite character, so it's going to be body equal to. So now we're also going to have the upload date date. It was uploaded upload underscore date. It's going to be a date time field. It's going to be models dot date time field and it's gonna be so it's gonna have this attribute called auto underscore now underscore add I'm gonna set that equal to true this means that whenever we whenever you upload a new picture to the server or to the database automatically a date and time we created when this picture was being uploaded in the stand so that's it for it now so I'm also gonna create an ID in the stand we want to give each of this picture each of the pictures we're gonna save a unique ID so we are going to do this using the UUID field. We are going to simply say equal ID should be equal to models dot UUID field. So it's going to have a default value of 16 characters. So we're going to say default should be equal to UUID dot UUID four. Understand? So we need to import UUID. I've imported that to the top already. So we are going to add some extra arguments. So let me say the primary key should be equal to true and after we've done this I'm going to say editable should be equal to false 
and we need to make sure that this is unique false. We need to make sure that this is unique true on the database. We're going to say unique should be equal to true. So we've done this now. So after doing this now, we're going to add one more field. We are going to add one more field, which is the image itself. The image is some of the image. So now what I'm going to do now is that in the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure images in Django. So I'm going to simply comment this out. You get so. I'm going to simply comment this out. So now leave that commented. So I'm going to create another attribute. Now we're going to create another database table called category. You understand? So I'm going to say class should be equal to category. Category. So I'm going to say models dot model, and I'm going to give this category a name. So I'm going to simply copy this name we have here. Control C. I'm going to paste that here. So I'm going to put this in max length of 50. So your category name can never exceed 50 characters. You get. So now, currently I'm through this particular to do this video. So currently we spoke on models. You get. So in the next video, I'm going to speak to you about database relationship. You get. So I'm going to show you how to connect this particular model class to the one we have on top. So I'm going to speak on database relationship in the next video. So see you right there.